Good day and welcome to today's Meekit Minute. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom threads. Right, so let's say for instance I've got a pot or a shaft. Let's create on the top plane. I'm going to create only a circular pot, doesn't really matter. And let's add something, let's just do it. Right, so now what I want to do is I want to add a thread to it. So if I go to the drop down from the whole wizard drop down, there's a feature there called thread. And you can then specify the thread location. So let's say, for instance, the location will be start on that edge. And then the end condition is up to selection, which is going to be, say, that edge there. All right, so this is straightforward. I can then specify the top. Let's make it an NC with a metric tab. And specify the size. Let's make it a, for now, M5. All right. Now, keep in mind, you can still manipulate these values. So let's say, for instance, currently the pitch, I want to override that. So I'm going to click Override, and let's make it, say, 20. Okay. Here we go. Right, so this is straightforward on how to add your thread command set. You can either have a cut thread or the extrude thread. But now the problem is, these sizes. Say you've got a, a thread or a profile that is not in this drop down and you want to go and create your own. Now quick easy ways let's cancel that command for now. I want to go and create my own but first I need to go and find out where SolidWorks is referencing all the profiles for the threads. I'm going to go to my options then under my file locations from the drop down I then need to go and search for the thread profiles. So in this case there's th the thread profiles then it will show me the location where the thread profiles are. All right, so it's on my program data. Let's click that, and it's going to browse to the location. So I'm going to go file open. All right, and we're going to go to the program data, the location, and there's all the different profiles. All right, so if I say, for instance, open up the metric die, I'm going to open that. All right, it is a read-only file for now. Click open, that's fine. All right, but now this profile consist of different configurations. So you see, if I go to my configuration manager, there's all the different profiles and shapes and sizes. Now, what I can do is I can actually take an existing one. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to take the M20. And I want to add an M20 by 3. So I activate that, I will click on it. I'm going to copy that. So I just select it, Control C, Control V. And then at the bottom, there's the copied one. So I'm going to select it, activate that, and just rename it and make it three. All right, and let's rename and take away that copy of as well. Like so. So it's the M20 by three. All right, and then if I go back to my feature manager design tree, selecting the thread profile, I can then manipulate these values. So let's say for instance that value. Needs to become three, rebuild it, and then I just need to go and save it. So I'm going to go save, and it is a read only, so I'm going to give it, say, for instance, a different name. Let's just call it for this example that metric die revision one, save it, and this. All right, so now if we go back to my original part and I go to my drop down to the third thread. Right. The starting location is going to be that location there, that edge. The end condition is going to go all the way to that edge. And then for the top, you see there's the metric die revision 1. And then if I go to the drop down, the metric, the M20 by 3, should be available from this list. There we go. All the way at the top. And then again, I need to specify the pitch, make it say 20. Click OK, and there we go. All right, in this case, it is a cut extrude. If I don't like it, I can always go back, edit that feature, and make it not a cut, but make it an extrude thread. Okay, right. In this case, it might complain. I then just need to mirror the profile. Click OK, and there we go. Right, and then that's it for my side of the Mika Minute for today. Hope you learned something today.